Hello guys, welcome back to another video tutorial. This is Puxy and like I promise I am delivering. This is another video which will be uploaded exactly the day after the previous video uploaded and that didn't make any sense but let's get right into it. So we are discussing wireless hacking so, and uh, one of the most important things that I forgot to tell you is what we are going to cover in this whole course. So we're going to be covering phishing, we're going to be covering uh, the usage of Wireshark, we're going to be decrypting packets, sniffing packets and a lot of good stuff. So remind me to tell you all of uh, all of this too because uh, it really gets the perspective of the user whether you guys would want to see it or not, whether you guys already know it, want to brush up on your skills. So with that said guys, let's get right into it and... Uh, in the previous video tutorial, what I explained to you was what was WPS, WPS, uh, WPA, WPA2, whatever. And in this video tutorial, we're actually going to be doing something practical and we are actually going to crack uh, WPA passwords. So let's do one thing and I'm just going to make directory that will be hello world, cd, hello world. And you guys are going to know why I am doing this in just a sec. So the first thing you guys would want to do to hack any wireless... Uh, what do you say uh, wireless uh, access point the first thing that we do is we start our wireless card into the monitor mode so airmon dash ng lan o uh oh start lan zero so i forgot to do one thing S type in airmon dash ng check kill and these processes are killed which were actually uh, you know uh, stopping you from putting your card into the monitor mode so let's just clear this out and type in airmon dash ng okay it must have already started but i'm just gonna make sure land zero and this has already started so the next thing you guys would want to know is uh, check out all of the wireless access point and the mac addresses that are available in your surroundings or at least the ones you can crack so type in aero dump dash ng lan o mon it uh, mon means monitor mode and I should really stop pointing my fingers at the screen and use my mouse and hit enter so let me maximize this and this is the wireless access point that we'd be uh, hacking this is my wireless point so please don't go out and sue me and this is the MAC address so we're gonna need the MAC address so let's just copy this so let me tell you all of these things so this is the power how close you are to the wireless access point the listen number the closer and this is uh, the type of encryption that we're using and this is a pre-shared key this is a cipher type and the channel number so all these are very important the next thing you guys would want to do is type in aero dump dash ng dash dash bssid and this is the bssid which is um, basically the mac address the hardware address of the uh, wireless access point and uh, the next thing you guys would want to do which i am forgetting is channel 10. so this uh, wireless access point is on 2.3 gigahertz part uh, we but uh, it is on channel 10 of 2.3 gigahertz so what you guys would want to do is uh, put in the channel number so you guys can actually capture and focus your uh, wireless card to the access point and the next thing you guys would want to do is type in the network card that you are using so hit enter and uh, what this is doing now what we're doing is we're waiting for a handshake now a handshake is actually i'm just gonna type in the command over here and then explain to you what the handshake is dash dash t auth mm, 100 packets would be enough dash a i'm gonna explain all of this to you don't worry about it and land them on so hit enter and uh, Let's see if we get the handshake over here. So what a handshake is, is that the exchange of keys between a client and the access point. And what we are doing over here is that we are actually kicking. Okay. I didn't put in the channel, did I? Dash C 10. Wait, what? All right, let's hit enter and see what this is going to do. So uh, we've already got the handshake. Let me close this and close this as well and start explaining from the very beginning so like i said ha uh, handshake is the exchange a four-way exchange in this case uh, between um, the client and the access point so uh, we already let me type ls oh crap i'm such a moron all right guys don't forget this step uh, hello world and hit enter hit enter all over again and what I forgot to do was 
I forgot to write these files. So even though we've got the handshake, we didn't get the output files. And if we don't get the output files, what the hell are we gonna crack? So when you type in LS, so after getting the handshake, we actually have our password in this cap file, but it is not human readable. Uh, this is uh, like I explained to you in uh, our uh, password cracking classes. This is rather different and this is hashed. So uh, let me explain to you what this command is doing. So a replay dash ng and I'm going to call it a replay. If this is the wrong method, uh, please do tell me how to pronounce it right because I'm too lazy. I'm not going to search it. So a replay is doing is sending the authentication packet to the access point, basically kicking everyone from the network. And if I could show you actually, I can't, but if I could show you, I would, uh, you guys would be able to see that uh, my mobile phone has been kicked off of my wireless access point. So uh, D auth is sending the deauthentication packets and 100 is the parameter. So 100 packets will be delivered. Dash A is for the Mac address and this is the monitor mode. You guys can obviously specify the channel number, but I haven't. So let's just go over here and we've got the handshake. So what happens is that when you actually kick all of the people or a particular person out of the network, he will try his device or will try to re-authenticate to the access point and thus we will get the handshake. So we, will, we already have the handshake. The next thing you guys would want to do is to actually crack the password. So. Uh, we already have a password list uh, in, I suppose, rockyou.txt. So let me type in locate rockyou.txt. And there it is. So your word list would be in user shared word list rockyou.txt. I have extracted it. Otherwise, this is available in this particular format. So uh, the next thing you guys want to do is actually hack or crack actually the password. So type in air crack dash ng this is the uh, tool that we'd be using for cracking our cap file so type in hello world dot zero one dot uh, dot cap and uh, dash w this is the path uh, we are actually specifying the path of our uh, rock you dot txt you guys can specify the path of your word list and uh, one thing guys i would highly recommend if you guys download word list from the internet and uh, it doesn't matter if you guys would have to go to the dark net and uh, deep web, not dark net, deep web to get the password list because uh, these password lists can be very handy. And I would recommend that you guys get uh, some from uh, deep web if you guys know the right resources to, you know, fuzz around. I don't want you guys to get into any trouble. So I might leave a couple of links in my other video tutorials. You know, uh, I don't want you guys to be fumbling around. Uh, just to crack of stupid WPA network. So the next thing is I am going to do is type in the path of uh, my, what do you say, word list. So this is my word list. Your word list will obviously have hundreds and thousands and millions of uh, words, but uh, what this is going to do is, uh, this is my uh, obviously created text list. So I'm just gonna hit enter and all right, see? key found file sheet. This is my password. So if I type in airmon dash ng stop lanomon, which will st uh, stop my, what do you say? <laughs> Freaking uh, wireless card from monitor mode and uh, type in service network manager start and hit enter. I should get my wireless. Uh, all right. So there it is. And, uh, this is hello world. So I'm just going to go to the settings, security, show password and file sheet. This is my password over here. And this is already connected as I haven't changed the password over here. So that's it guys. That is how you actually crack uh, a WPA2 password. Now the limitations of cracking a WPA password is that uh, it's as, uh, you know, uh, okay. I'm gonna need some time to gather my thoughts. This method is as effective as your word list. So if you don't have the password initially in your word list, it's not going to work. And you guys would be surprised that uh, if uh, that uh, people don't use a lot complicated passwords. See, I even I am using stupid fire sheep and I should be using uh, an alphanumeric, but uh, my neighborhood isn't, you know, <laughs> that uh, hacky type. So I don't have to worry about it, but I should really uh, replace this password because if my Wi-Fi router gets compromised, uh, it's it would be really easy you know to steal my data so uh, in the next video tutorial guys I'm going to show you how to actually gather proxies of other users that are on the network 
and that's it for today's video guys thank you for watching if you like this video hit that like button if you want to see more of us hit that subscribe button and uh, leave a comment down if you want to know more or you know if something you can't figure out and thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys in the next video tutorial